Hello and welcome to another complete Cambridge IGCSE chemistry lesson where you will learn absolutely everything you need to know on topic 8.3 group 7 properties. As always we'll be following the Cambridge syllabus exactly and we'll learn absolutely everything you need to know for your final exam. Please note I'm only posting half the topics in the syllabus on YouTube. The entire syllabus is going on my Patreon, link below. Also the slides I use in my videos will eventually be available to download soon after I finish producing all the videos. Once done I'll put a link to those in the description as well. The elements in group 7 of the periodic table are referred to as halogens. The halogens are non-metals, which we know because of their position in the table. See topic 8.1 for more details. The second, third and fourth elements in group 7 are chlorine, bromine and iodine. All halogens have seven outer shell electrons, meaning they gain one electron to form negative halide ions with a one minus charge. The halogens are diatomic elements, meaning that in their uncombined state, their atoms appear in pairs. Chlorine then is written Cl2 and bromine Br2. General trends moving down group 7 include an increase in density and a decrease in reactivity. Density increases because the atomic mass increases significantly faster than the atomic radius or size, meaning more mass is packed into a relatively similar volume. Reactivity decreases moving down the group because the atoms have more electron shells, meaning the outer electrons are further from the nucleus. This makes it harder for the atom to gain an electron and form a negative ion. At room temperature and pressure, chlorine is a pale yellow gas, bromine is a red-brown liquid, and iodine is a grey-black solid. The change in physical state from gas to liquid to solid indicates an increase in density down the group. A halogen displacement reaction is when a more reactive halogen replaces a less reactive halogen from its compound when in aqueous solution. After a displacement reaction, the less reactive element is pure and uncombined. For example, chlorine is more reactive than bromine, so chlorine displaces bromine from an aqueous solution of potassium bromide. The solution turns orange as bromine is formed. Because reactivity increases moving up group 7, halogens higher up the group displace those lower down. So chlorine displaces bromine and iodine, bromine displaces iodine but does not displace chlorine, and iodine doesn't displace either chlorine or bromine. We can use information about chlorine, bromine and iodine to predict the properties of the other group 7 elements. For example, because density increases further down the group, we know that at room temperature and pressure, fluorine will be a gas because it sits above chlorine in the table, and astatine will be a solid because it sits below iodine. Similarly, if we observe that iodine is less reactive than chlorine, we can predict that fluorine at the top of the group will be the most reactive element, and astatine will be the least reactive at the bottom. Well done, you've just covered absolutely everything you need to know on topic 8.3, group 7 properties. If you benefited from this video, remember to subscribe to the channel and check out my Patreon, where I'll be uploading the entire chemistry syllabus. Join me there for our next lesson on topic 8.4, transition elements.